What's up guys, welcome back to the Scopesphere channel. So this video is the fifth episode of the sports and anime series. The last one was on arm wrestling and today we'll look at martial arts in anime. If you want more content on strength sports, combat sports and anime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to leave a like on this video to show your support. Now that all has been said, let's start this fifth episode on martial arts in anime. Let's go! As always, we'll first start with a definition of martial arts. Unlike the other sports that we saw in the last four episodes, martial arts are very diverse. Of course, it will be impossible to do an exhaustive list of all the martial arts that exist. So for this video, we'll focus on the most known martial arts such as boxing, judo, jiu-jitsu, taekwondo, karate, kickboxing or MMA. Obviously, each martial art has its own rules regarding the moves that are allowed or not. Although usually they don't have a great reputation, mainly because of the violence involved, martial arts have a whole lot of physical, mental and social benefits. They will make you more agile, more flexible and help weight loss or muscle gains. And at the psychological level, martial arts are good for stress relief, focus improvement and they will also boost your confidence and your self-esteem. So now that we have a proper definition and some examples, in which anime can we see characters doing martial arts? Let's find out. This time again, we'll go through all the anime that I know in order to find characters doing martial arts. And after that, I will present to you other martial art anime that I found during my research. We follow the adventures of Hippo in the world of boxing. Since he is a beginner in the sport, the anime will go through all the different boxing techniques, starting with basics like the jab, the straight and the uppercut, and finishing with more advanced stuff like rolling with punches, footwork or advanced techniques like the Dempsey Roll. And apart from technique, the anime also shows nutrition and the water cut process, which are an integral part of boxing. Oh, and by the way, I will definitely do a video on nutrition basics in the future, so stay tuned. Now let's move on to the most complete anime about martial arts with Baki. The anime covers a wide variety of martial arts, and since the majority of the fights have no rules, characters have to know and be good in multiple martial arts. Some characters are also masters in their own style and they will encourage you to start doing martial arts. For instance, you have Mohamed Ali Jr. for boxing, Goki Shibukawa for Aikido, Retsukai Ho for Chinese Kenpo, Orochi Dopo for Karate, and Baki or Yuji Hanma for mixed martial arts. And like Ajime no Ippo, the anime also covers other subjects such as the anatomy of the human body. Next, we have an anime with Titan powers and hand-to-hand -hand combat, Attack on Titan. Although the anime is mostly ruled by Titan's power, since they basically make you a larger human, there are a lot of hand-to-hand -hand battles. There are four main martial arts that I've detected when I was watching the series. The first two are boxing and judo, which we can mainly see when Mikasa and Ani are training. And the other two martial arts are wrestling and jujitsu, which we can see in Titan mode when Eren and Reiner are fighting. These martial arts are not presented with their real names, since in the anime, the humanity is supposed to be wiped out. Now let's have a quick look to what we can find in my favorite anime, One Piece. Like in Attack on Titan, the One Piece world is mostly ruled by Devil Fruit and Aki. However, the anime has shown multiple times some martial arts moments. For example, Jinbei's techniques are called Fishman Karate and they really look like real life karate. We also have some very funny scenes in which Luffy tries sumo wrestling. And finally, we could say that Sanji's kicks and techniques look like the ones you might see in capoeira or in kickboxing. And finally, let's see what martial arts we can find in Naruto. In the anime, the third style of fighting, apart from ninjutsu and genjutsu, is taijutsu. This style relies on hand-to-hand -hand combat and a large variety of martial arts. Experts of this style in Naruto are, for instance, Rock Lee and Mike Guy, but also Sakura and Tsunade. If we look more precisely at Rock Lee's technique, they are kind of inspired by Bruce Lee's Jet Kundo. So Rock Lee's style has techniques from multiple martial arts such as Kung Fu, Boxing, Taekwondo, Wing Chun, etc. In a sense, we could say that this is a bit similar to mixed martial arts. Now that we have looked at anime that I know, here is a short list of anime that I haven't watched yet 
but that features a lot of martial art content. So we have Feast of the North Star, Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple, Kengan Ashura, Megalobox, and tough. So to conclude this video, I will answer one final question. Do martial arts exist in anime? Well, even though all martial arts are not shown with the same level of detail, they are indeed very present in anime. And unlike the other sports that we saw in the last episode, in a certain anime like Hajime no Hippo, they are represented realistically and as a professional sport. So for this fifth episode of the sports in anime series, it's a big yes for this question. And talking about the sports in anime series, for the next episode, I would like you to tell me which sport you want me to cover. It can be whatever you want, like football, basketball, tennis, etc. That's it for the video guys, I hope you really liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like the sports in anime series in general and if you want more episodes. See you guys in the next video, peace out.